Hello everybody, welcome back to my let's play of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. This is Gamer Sheriff. I am not recording this at the same time of me playing the game. I had some audio snap foos, that's also why the video looks a little crazy. Just trying to finish this game has been an interesting experience, let me tell you. But I'm here now, I'm going on to take on whoever the next challenge is, and I realize that it's Flint. Well, looking at the towers around him, being that they're fire, I assume, just like with the other enemies, or the other Elite Four, that he's going to have nothing but fire types. So definitely don't want to be using my legendary. But I had the right idea about using my Izumarill, or Mickey, to take him on, because I assumed he was going to have nothing but fire types. Yo, trainer! I, you had me counting the days on my finger waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? I'm like, great. And I'm looking at this guy going, Are you Pokemon's version of Ronald McDonald? Because he's got the right color scheme. And with the fro and everything, he's kind of just missing a red nose and he'd be good. So, like I thought, his first Pokemon is a Rapidash. Sweet. So far my plan, I think, is going to be working. Well, I don't have much water moves on him, but Hydro Pump should do a pretty good job. Now, even though that my Izumarill or Mickey is four levels higher than his Rapidash. Rapidash is a fast one, and it's still able to go first, but his attack doesn't do too much damage to me, and I almost defeat him with just the one attack. Now, I could have used my final Hydro Pump, but I wanted to use that on whatever other fire types he had. Not that it really mattered, because he decided to use a full restore and make it look like I never even touched is Rapidash, which, yay! But, at least with Bounce, I avoid taking any damage, which I will happily take that, and then have to look at it like, well, let's do some more bouncing, I guess. Like, it prevents him from attacking me, it prevents his speed from going up, because he can't get me for that one turn. And because his Rapidash is so fast, that means I'm missing an attack, which I missed the hypnosis that his Rapidash was going to be doing, and I take him out. So, point for me. And I think I'm doing alright. Zoomerill hasn't taken too much damage. Then he's going to bring out Steelix, which, last time I checked, Steelix is not a fire type. It's a steel type and it's weak against fire. So why would a like fire master be using that? That makes no sense. So I assume let's go ahead and use my starter. He's a fire type. If he's not going to use a fire type, I will. And this also means that I can increase my starter's attack for the duration of this battle and make sure that he's strong enough to take on whatever else he has in here. So I do the power up punch. It uh, doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would, but his iron tail sure did. Ow. So I'm like, okay, we've got to take this guy out. Let's go ahead and use the flame wheel. Let's get rid of him and let's move on to the next guy. So I'm like, okay. He's almost destroyed, at least he's getting health back from the, the bell that he's got, and he avoids the attack so that he doesn't take as much damage. I'm like, awesome, this is easy. Let's go ahead and take him out, and he uses another full heal. Like, he just let me defeat you. Just let me beat up your Pokemon. Come on, I am at the end here. So, I see that the power-up punch does a little bit more damage than it did last time, and I'm hoping, please, 
Let's take him out with Flame Wheel. And sure enough, it takes him out, and my guy is looking pretty good. Plus, he gets a little bit more health back. So, it really looks like he's not taking that much damage. And that I'm ready for the next fire type, maybe, to actually show up. Low Punny. Low Punny. I got beef with Low Punny. If you saw that thing take out my legendary, you would understand why. Go back to my previous episodes. So I see this as an opportunity to get rid of him in one punch. Yay. Absolutely deserved that. It made my starter even stronger, which I always appreciate that. It lets him heal up some more. And I get some guys to gain some levels. So win, 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 win. And I feel much better with taking him out. So at this point, I don't know what I'm going to go up against. Drifloom. I, uh, for being a, a fire type uh, Elite Four member, he really doesn't seem to be using a lot of fire types. But I've been using him, my starter for enough now. Let's go ahead and bring out my Gengar, Cheeky. And he should be able to do some moves on him. Uh, the dark moves should do some damage, and it says super effective. So let's try Sucker Punch. Ugh. It missed. Like, Baton Pass, what exactly is that? Oh, it's like Volt Switch. Brings out his Infernape. I'm like, oh, well. Nice to see you, I guess. Um, let's try a Shadow Ball. See how that works. And I'm like, Fire Punch. Ow! That hurt. I don't like you. I see, okay. Well, he doesn't have Fire Punch anymore, so let's switch him out so that we can do some Infernape on Infernape action. And he does Thunder Punch. Like, okay. I think he was trying to paralyze. And then he does Close Combat. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. Ow. Just... Ow. How dare you hurt him like that. So now I gotta figure out, okay, well, what should I be using against this fire guy? He's got close combat, he's got thunder punch, he has fire punch, but he can't use it right now. So, I figure it's time for my Electric Kitty to kind of just be standing there, hopefully surviving, while I'm reviving my starter. He does close combat again. Ow. I figure, okay, well, my guy should be able to be strong enough to take this guy out. It's just whether or not he's fast enough. So I try doing Volt Switch. And I'm like, ah, man, he's dead. No, because of our friendship, he survived with one health point left. I'm like, you rock, thank you, finish him off. I was so proud of him. That was amazing. I'm like, sweet, okay. Let's bring out my Cheeky again and try and do what I assume he's going to do Drifloom again. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering. I'm like, that's all you've got. So let's go ahead and try again. Sucker Punch, go! Failed again! So I assume that Sucker Punch just does not want to work. And I'm like, fine. Will Dark Pulse work? Okay, well, it did the animation, so it looks like it's actually going to do something. Then he eats a berry. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. Can you stop? You know, minimize. 
increase his evasiveness. Well, hopefully it's not enough where I keep missing him. So, what we do? And I'm like, oh, Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's a fire type move. So, that must be why he's got the guy, because, I mean, it is a fire move. But with that, my Dark Pulse still hits him. My Gengar does not take any damage from being burned. And I defeat him. Wow! I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. Thanks. Are you going to send me on my way with a Happy Meal? <clears throat> Phew. Burnt right down to cinders. Thanks. Well, guess what I need to do? I need to heal my Pokemon. And again, all in all, not too bad. Like, you, there's not really much that you can do against close combat. Like, if the enemy is going to use it, the enemy is going to use it. There's not really much you can do. But at least it was not Earthquake. Like, Earthquake was just decimating my guys. So, I heal up all, all my guys, I get rid of the burn, and then I'm like, well, if I... If the, the Elite Four and the Champion are using all kinds of, of Pokemon now, like they're not specifically one type or another, maybe I need to work on having some more moves. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but I figure I need to uh, get a little bit more versatility. And so with that, I decide to go ahead and give Azumarill um, a new move. The, uh, let's see, we've got Waterfall, I think it's called Scorch. Like, I think about giving him Waterfall because that is pretty strong. But I decide, nah, I will go ahead and just give him the Scald. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And I figure I don't need Aqua Ring. And I don't need to worry about healing my guy because I'm just needing to damage, 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 damage. So, that way I've got a water move, and as you can see, I'm looking around and I'm like, okay, well, I think this guy is either a steel type or psychic type. He also looks like James. Oh, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the better... I am Lucian. I am a user of Psychic-type Pokémon. I'm also the brother of James. You may have heard of him. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. <laughs> Plus, if my brother James is completely useless, I will have to show my family that I am not like him. I'm like, okay, cool. Alrighty. Well, uh, I got Mr. Mime here. And I'm like, okay, well, shouldn't my attacks do something against him? I'm like, okay, well, you know, when in doubt, use Bounce. Saves me from uh, worrying about getting too much damage against him. And if his guys are going to be faster than me, that means that they will use their attacks and not hurt me. I like not taking damage. 
And so I'm like, oh, well, Bounce didn't do all that much, but it did paralyze him. So, awesome. Let's go ahead and do this play rough, and he avoids the attack. But he's paralyzed, so how is he able to avoid the attack and be paralyzed to not attack? That makes no sense, but thankfully play rough is enough to get rid of the guy. I'm like, sweet, let's move on, because this is the final Elite Four, and I've got four enemies left. Girafferig. So he's psychic, and I want to say dark. So let's see what some dragon moves do against him. I don't think any of his moves will be that tough against my guy. At least, that's what I'm hoping anyway. But, I really don't want to jinx it too terribly much. So, we go ahead and we try things out with Flash Cannon. I'm surprised my guys are faster than him, but sweet. Like, okay, well, Steel Attacks don't really do much. But thankfully, Psychic Attacks don't do too much damage against me either. So, let's try something else. If Steel doesn't do too much damage, how about we do a dragon move? Oh, well, that does pretty good. Trick room. Still not 100% sure what that does, but it doesn't do any damage. Let's finish him off with a uh, fighting move and the wonderful full restore is back. Yay. Aren't I lucky. I'm tired of these guys using a full restore. I don't like it. I'm supposed to be the only one that uses items. I don't like it one little bit, so we're back to having to get rid of this guy. I want to make sure that I actually defeat this guy before he gets my Pokemon to be confused, and I finish him off with a ROAR OF TIME! At least I'm hoping that's enough to take him out, because that move's a little strong. I don't know if you know that about that move, but it packs quite a wallop. And I don't have to worry about him recharging. Metacham. Metacham is a psychic type, but it's also a fighting type, and fighting does a lot of damage against steel type. So I decided to bring out my Cheeky. I figured his moves could be fun against this guy. And I'm like, okay, let's bring it on. So, I go ahead and I start with my wonderful Shadow Ball. And... I don't even get to think about using an attack. Because Zen Headbutt decimates me. 100% destroys me. So I'm like, okay, well, um... Hopefully my Mickey can survive long enough for me to revive my Cheeky, because I was not expecting him to be absolutely decimated like that from one move. So now, we've got Ice Punch. Like, okay, well, that's not too scary. And I'm like, let's go ahead and do Bounce, because that's going to do some damage. Which was a good thing, because that avoided that Thunder Attack, or Thunder Punch. But it just wasn't enough to survive or defeat him completely. I'm like, oh man, okay, well, my guy should be able to attack first. So let's finish him off. And then another full restore. Like, these guys have to stop doing that. Not that it matters, because Play Rough completely decimates him. I should have been mo using that move from the very beginning because it completely destroyed him. I'm like, ooh, Alakazam. Okay, well, um, my legendary did pretty good in the beginning or when I was fighting Giraffe Rig, so hopefully he'll be okay with Alakazam. 
Um, I don't have to worry about him recharging because he's recharged a bunch of moves. And honestly, I don't want to take any chances, so I do Roar of Time, thinking that it should do quite a bit of damage. And with his future sight, he saw that he was going to get decimated. Absolutely destroyed. Which I'm okay with. And so then we've got Bronzong, which, again, I know is a Psychic type, but he's also a Steel type, and I've got a Pokemon that just loves Steel type. Hmm, now what should I do? I think you should roll over and die. Nah. So... I go ahead and do my flame wheel, hoping that that will take him out. And it almost does. Again with Trick Room, I, I don't feel like that really does anything. But I'm just laying on the heat. Then he does Earthquake. Of course he knows Earthquake. Why wouldn't he know Earthquake? But it doesn't matter because my flame wheel is enough to take him out. I get some health back from my bell. We get some guys gaining some levels, which I also have my Black Cat learn a new move. I'm like, ah, well, better late than never, I guess. And it's far better than Spark, so uh, let's get rid of Spark and make him a little bit stronger, a little bit better, and we beat the would-be brother of James, Lucian. I see. You're getting past the three before me was no fluke. Your power is real. Thanks, I guess? I mean, I was, was trying. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. The... 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 There still remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now, go on. Step through the doorway to your final battle. Thank you. At least you're not blasting off again. So... I'm thinking, you know, that wasn't absolutely terrible. It was still challenging because of all of the strong Pokemon. Like, I got hammered. I, and I feel really bad about my Obama Snow ornament. Like, I don't think I've used him hardly ever during these Elite Four guys, and I feel bad about that. Like, I've really not been able to use him, and so that's why I'm like, okay, let's bring him to the start. I want him to do some fighting. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but that's what we're going to be finding out in the next episode. Hopefully all of my issues are fixed, and we don't have any problems. Um... If you want to see the next video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below on what Pokemon you used for this little battle. And as always, I will see you in the next video. This is Gamer Sheriff, signing off. See ya!